Can someone like please explain to me why as a kid it's always fun to do dumb shit? Like seriously, I don't even know how I'm still alive right now. For real, you would have thought I died from the amount of stupid stuff I would get myself into as a kid. Sometimes it's like a little voice telling you, do it. Do it. And you end up doing it and you almost burn off your hand. Other times you feel like you have to do dumb shit to fit in. And then you end up feeling dumb because you did some dumb shit. I did a lot of brainless activities growing up and I got plenty of stories about them. But the one dumb situation that sticks with me the most, the one I could never forget, the one where I almost died, is the one I'm gonna talk about today. <laughs> So flashback to some years ago, and I'm a wee little boy playing with my little toys. I got my little action figures, and I'm watching Dinosaur Train. Life is good. Now, my older brother Jeremiah comes up to me. He's got that. I have a horrible idea that is probably going to get us in trouble face. And he's all like, I have an idea. I'm already not feeling this idea. If you watch some of my old videos, you'll understand that my brother is the one that got me in trouble for stealing my mama's money. So hell no. Nah. So I continue playing with my little toys, and my brother says, I got a way to sneak in mom's room. And I'm like, huh? No way. And he's like, yes way. And I'm like, no way. And he's like, yes way. And I'm like, no fucking way. And he's like, dude, shut the fuck up. Just follow me. You're doing too much. So I follow my brother and we're right by my mom's room. Now, the reason that I was like, no way. When my brother said he had a way to sneak in my mom's room was because inside my mom's room, was an endless supply of junk food and snacks and every possible way to get diabetes. My mom always kept the super sugary foods in her room because her four sons would always devour it in less than a day and she bought it and shit. So me and my brother are watching as my mom locks up her room door as she leaves for work. And I can't help but wonder how the fuck is my brother gonna unlock this unlockable door? We get up and head to mom's door and my brother pulls out a butter knife. My mom had one of those doors you can open with a butter knife but this is my first time ever seeing it done live to my surprise my brother manages to open the door who the f is this n a locksmith we get in my mom's room go to my mom's pantry and it also has a lock like why the f why do my mom got locks on everything you're gonna lock your bedroom door why lock the pantry too you know what Never mind. My brother whips out a hammer from his inventory and just straight up breaks the pantry lock. This dude got all these gadgets and tools and shit. Who the fuck is this? Batman? We open up that pantry and I just start grabbing. I'm talking honey buns, Reese's Skittles. I'm so, my mom even had cinnamon toast crunch locked up. Like, what the crazy? I had to take that too. We fill up our bags and then some. Even my other brother saw us and wanted to join in on the raid. You know what I'm saying? We're in my mom's room for hours. Just going crazy in the pantry. But eventually, it was time to evacuate the premises. Mom usually gets home at 7 p.m. and it's 6.30. It's time to skedaddle. I'm heading out the room and my brother stops me. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Where you going? I'm like, what you mean? I'm evacuating the premises. Mission complete. He's like, uh-uh. You haven't even completed your task yet. I'm looking at him crazy. Like, did you, you got dementia or something? We just ransacked mom's whole pantry. The mission is completed. Let's leave before mom gets home. My brother says, well, the thing is, I told you we had a way to sneak in mom's room, but I didn't tell you how we would sneak out. Okay. I need you to stay in mom's room and lock the door from the inside. Wait, what? Why? I'm not able to relock the door with the butter knife. I can only unlock it, which means... You have to stay and lock it from the inside. At this point, I'm in full-on bitch mode. I'm starting to sweat, hyperventilate, and all of that shit. It, it's in full effect. Yo, what the f***? Mom gets home in 10 minutes. I can't stay here. I'll be a sitting duck. Relax. You won't be caught. After you lock the door from the inside, you're gonna leave the room through mom's window. Mom's window? A little context. My mom's window is like on the third floor. The third floor. That's like... That's like 80 feet, basically. I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die, for real! You're not gonna die! Just lock the door when I leave and go to the window. I'll be right there. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, okay. Man, at this point, I should have just fully committed to bitching out because no amount of candy or junk food is worth what I'm about to go through. I get to the window and I look down, bruh! It's like 200 feet. I can't do this 
this shit. I'm eight. I'm eight years old. I'm supposed to be learning my shapes and alphabet and shit. I'm not doing Tom Cruise Mission Impossible ass stunts. My brother comes around the house to the window and he has a ladder with him. Thank God. It's about 6.55. If I'm still in here when mom comes home, then my ass is grass. My brother holds the ladder as close as he can to me, but my eight-year-old legs, I'm too short to reach it. He's like, it's okay. Just let go and land on the ladder. Are you sure? Yes, dude, I got you. Are you really sure, though? Yes, nigga. How many times I gotta say it? Well, I'm fucking scared, so I don't know. Can you hurry up? I think mom just entered the neighborhood. Don't rush me. Well, then hurry up. I'm trying. What? I can't do this. I'm too scared. What are you doing? Hurry up, mom's home. <laughs> what the hell is going Oh my god, my baby! Mommy! Help me, please! I think he's stuck up there. I can't reach him. I can't. I can't hold on. Oh my god! <laughs> My ass fell 200 feet. Not really, it was like 12, 15 feet, but same thing. Now I'm just crying and crying and my mom's holding me, but I'm still crying, bro. I'm supposed to be watching Dinosaur Train. I'm not supposed to be parked doing this, doing hoodlum ghetto activities. Somehow, some way, I managed to walk away without any broken bone, major injuries, none of that. Just some bumps, bruises. My mom took care of me and treated me for all my wounds, you know, nothing like a mother's love. On the flip side though, my brother got his ass beat for making me jump out a 200 foot window not really but you know same thing and about a week later after i fully healed i got my ass beat for jumping out a 200 foot window so all's well that ends well i guess but there are some key important lessons that i want you to take away from this story and that is to always trust your gut and never give in to peer pressure that shit lame as hell anyway even being as young as i was i still knew in my heart and my soul and my gut that what i was doing was wrong and dangerous but i let my older brother get into my head and peer pressure me into doing something that's just foolish even when i knew in my gut that it was wrong so remember to always follow your heart and do whatever your gut tells you to do and not what someone else tells you to do because you don't want to end up falling out of a 300 foot window not really but you know <laughs> but my name is straight up ty and i love each and every one of y'all and i'll see y'all in the next one peace f make f you talking about my name is straight up ty and you're watching disney channel y'all remember that shit y'all probably too young to even remember that shit Y'all niggas, some niggas don't even remember what Disney Channel is. Are you fucking serious? This crazy. Pop outside two G's in the sprinter. Sometimes songs wear G's in the winter. You stuck on one side, so it beats in the middle. You remember those days I was stuck in the middle? Hey, I remember those days I was broke as a joke. In the trash ass apartments, I was living with a rope. Once a nigga hit a million.